Welcome Smackers, Kevin Smack here. Do I have a treat for you? I know you clicked on this because you want to know how to win war games easily with Fortnite Mobile. Well, I've been using this and I want to recommend it to you because it's pretty awesome. What is it? Well, I'll show it to you more in a second, but let's show you the pieces to start. Triggers for the iPhone go through and use it as a controller, not just the triggers. They also have this awesome specimen that pulls apart. Then it transforms. Pull it out. Flip it over. This part out. Flip it over. Now that they're flipped over, they connect into one. And they turn your phone into a controller. So you can go ahead and use the buttons and the button on the screen as well. It's pretty amazing. I'm going to go through and show it to you. And I think you're going to be blown away. It's completely different because you get two triggers. So I use my one trigger for fire and the other trigger for jump. And then everything else you do on the screen. And you don't have to do it that way. That's just the way I did it. I'm going to show you to explain a little more. So let's go ahead and just get into it. So first what I'm going to do is show you how to go through and set it up. Um, so for the iPhone 10, if you have an iPhone that has a bump on it, you want this one to be on the bottom. Uh, that way it doesn't get in way of the triggers. Um, the trigger, it's always the silver side up. Go ahead and put it on. This has to be that way. Put it on. I have no case on mine, so what I'll do is I'll push this down to go through and lock in. And then I'll do the same to the other one. Sorry right, it's so grainy. I don't have a real camera. I only have a web camera. Um, sometimes I use my cell phone, but I need my cell phone for this, so uh, the quality is going to be a little poor here. Hopefully down the line I can buy a new camera, and then we can have good shots all the way around. So now we got the triggers set up. Here they are. So And we already built this thing here, so we just need to go through and get it on. This does stretch, which is real nice. I was able to get it on with my... Um, Case on and a uh, pop socket. It was tight on the 10, but you can do it. Um, so let's go through and let's see if we can get it on the screen at the same time here. Awesome. So we're in a game here. So you can tell I have the triggers set up here. Um, the first trigger, I moved my jump button up to the top there. That way it triggers it. So when I hit this, I jump automatically. And the other one is my trigger. So I can go through and just swing there anytime I need. So, uh, yeah, we're pretty good. So here we're just farming some materials around, just trying to give you a little idea about how well it works. Uh, it works really well. I haven't had any problems. If you have any issues, sometimes you might just have to slide the trigger a tiny bit up or a tiny bit down just to get it. But once you get it into that spot, you don't have to move it anymore. You just have to make sure that you find that right spot for it. And you can also move the triggers on the device itself too where you just go into the settings and then it's um, HUD display and then you can just drag them to wherever you want so you can drag them underneath either of the triggers so you can go ahead and use them like I said I went with fire and jump but it's completely up to you what you go with you know at, you probably play a lot think of two buttons that you would like I think the trigger on the right hand feels really good and I also think jumping on the left trigger feels really good. Also, the device is a lot easier to hold for longer periods of time with the controller handles, so it does make it a lot easier for that. So let me know what you think. Have you tried a controller yet? If you have, let me know how you like it. This one I really do like and I do recommend. I'll put the link down below if you're interested. It is not a sponsor, however it is an affiliate link. So give it a try. It's about $16, uh, which isn't too much if you get the full thing. Uh, you can also just buy the triggers if you want. Uh, it's a lot cheaper that way. I'm just going to put a link to the main triggers. And then if you want the whole kit, once you go to that link, just choose the option that is the $16 one with the side panels. There's different colors. I think some are like uh, see-through or not. This one I'm glad I got. I can't wait to play more with it. 
Smackers, thanks so much for checking out this video. I hope you enjoyed the controller. Let me know if you did in the comments, as always. And smack that like button. We're getting so close to 50k subscribers. I can't wait. Thank you all. And as always, smack out. <laughs>